Hi, welcome to Lee Nicola's devotional, and thank you so much for visiting our channel. The title of this devotional is God Chose You, Embracing Divine Purpose. To get more of these videos, please subscribe and click on the notification bell. Introduce yourself below and type your prayer request or send them to the email provided. In the quiet moments of reflection, we often contemplate our existence and purpose. In the vast tapestry of creation, it's easy to feel small and insignificant, yet a profound truth resonates through the ages. God chose you. Yes, you, dear soul, were selected by the divine for a purpose beyond your wildest imagination. As we delve into this devotional journey, let us explore the depth of this divine calling and uncover the sacred truths that illuminate our path. Before the foundations of the world were laid, God's gaze fell upon you. In the grandeur of His wisdom, He saw the intricate design of your being and declared, You are mine. Your existence is not a random occurrence, but a deliberate choice of the Almighty. Reflect on this truth and let it fill you with awe and reverence. In the brokenness of humanity, God saw the potential for restoration. Through the sacrifice of His Son, Jesus Christ, He extended His hand of redemption to all who would believe. You were chosen to partake in this divine exchange, to experience the fullness of grace and the depth of His love. Embrace the gift of salvation and walk in the freedom it brings. As a chosen vessel of God, you are set apart for His divine purposes. Holiness is not merely a set of rules, but a reflection of His character imprinted upon your soul. Surrender your heart to the refining fire of His Spirit and allow Him to mold you into vessels of honor fit for the Master's use. In the journey of faith, you are not alone. The Holy Spirit, the Comforter and Guide, dwells within you, empowering you to fulfill your divine calling. Let go of fear and doubt and step boldly into the purpose for which you were chosen. You can overcome every obstacle with His strength and accomplish great things for His glory. Beyond the confines of time and space, your destiny awaits. God's plan for you extends far beyond this earthly realm into the realms of eternity. As you walk in obedience to His will, you are laying up treasures in heaven that will never fade away. Fix your gaze on the eternal prize and live with the assurance that you are chosen for everlasting glory. In our journey of faith, there are sacred truths that we hold dear, revelations from the Spirit that are not to be taken lightly or shared indiscriminately. Here are five things that should never be revealed lightly. May the truth of God resonate within you, guiding you in every step of your journey. Embrace your divine calling with courage and humility, knowing that you are chosen for such a time as this. The first thing you should never reveal lightly is the sacred trust of confidentiality. In the tapestry of human relationships, there are threads of trust that bind us together. Among these threads, there is one of utmost importance, the sacred trust of confidentiality. Just as God holds our deepest secrets in the palm of His hand, so too are we called to honor the intimacy of others' hearts. Imagine a garden enclosed, its beauty hidden from the eyes of the world. Within its walls, flowers bloom and secrets are whispered to the wind, knowing they will be carried only to the ears of the divine. So too should our hearts be a sanctuary, where the confidences of others find safe harbor. When someone opens their heart to us, they lay bare their vulnerabilities, trusting us to handle their truths with care. Whether it be struggles with faith, battles with sin, or the whispers of dreams yet unfulfilled. These are sacred treasures entrusted to our keeping. But how often do we betray this trust, allowing the whispers of others to escape our lips like a thief in the night? How often do we succumb to the temptation to gossip, thinking nothing of the damage our words may cause? Let us be reminded of the words of Scripture. A gossip betrays a confidence, 
but a trustworthy person keeps a secret. Proverbs 11.13 We are called to be stewards of trust, guardians of the sacred bond that is formed when one soul confides in another. In the depths of our hearts, let us cultivate the soil of trust, nurturing it with the waters of integrity and the sunlight of love. Let us be known, not for the tales we tell, but for the trust we keep. For in doing so, we reflect the character of our Heavenly Father. So, dear soul, when entrusted with the intimate workings of another's heart, guard them as you would your own. Let your lips be sealed, your ears attuned to the whispers of the Spirit, and your heart open to receive the burdens of others with grace and compassion. In this way, you honor not only the trust placed in you, but also the God who calls us to love one another as He has loved us. May your life be a testament to the sacred trust of confidentiality, a beacon of light in a world darkened by betrayal and deceit. And remember, dear friend, what is whispered in confidence remains between you, them, and God alone. Please remember to subscribe for more. Thank you. In the hustle and bustle of life, Amidst the clamor of competing voices vying for our attention, there are moments of divine encounter that transcend the noise and draw us into the presence of the Almighty. These are the sacred moments, the whispers of the divine, that stir our souls and leave us breathless in awe. Personal revelations are like precious jewels, hidden treasures unearthed in the depths of communion with God. They are not meant to be flaunted for the admiration of others or paraded before the eyes of the world. No, they are meant to be cherished, held close to the heart, like a precious heirloom passed down through generations. Consider the story of Mary, the mother of Jesus, who treasured the words spoken to her by the angel Gabriel in the quiet of her heart. Luke 2.19 she did not rush to proclaim her revelation to the masses, but pondered its significance in the depths of her soul, allowing it to shape her faith and guide her steps. So too should we approach our revelations with reverence and humility, recognizing the sacredness of the moments we share with the divine. Whether it be a word spoken in prayer, a vision unveiled in the stillness of meditation, or a whisper heard in the depths of our hearts. These are gifts from God to be held sacred. But in a world obsessed with self-promotion and instant gratification, the temptation to share our revelations for the sake of validation and approval can be strong. We may feel the urge to broadcast our spiritual experiences to the world, seeking affirmation and recognition from others. Yet, in doing so, we risk cheapening the sacredness of the moment, reducing it to mere entertainment for the masses. We rob ourselves of the opportunity to delve deeper into the mysteries of God, to savor the sweetness of His presence in the secret chambers of our hearts. Instead, let us follow the example of Mary, who treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. Luke 2.19 let us guard our revelations with the same care and reverence, cherishing them as the precious gifts they are. And when the time is right, when the Spirit prompts us to share our revelations with others, let us do so with humility and discernment, mindful of the sacredness of the moment and the trust placed in us by the divine. For in cherishing our sacred moments with God, we honor not only the intimacy of our relationship with Him, but also the depth of His love and the richness of His grace. May your life be a testament to the beauty of personal revelation, a reflection of the divine light that illuminates your path. Prayer is the lifeline that connects us to the heart of God, a sacred communion between the Creator and His beloved creation. In the quiet moments of prayer, we pour out our hearts before the throne of grace, laying bare our deepest desires, fears, and hopes. It is a holy exchange, a conversation between souls bound together by the cords of divine love. But what happens when someone entrusts us with the intimate details of their prayers? 
sharing with us the cries of their heart and the whispers of their soul. In that moment, we become stewards of their trust, guardians of the sacred bond between them and the Almighty. Confidential prayers are like delicate flowers, fragile blooms that unfurl in the warmth of trust and intimacy. They are not meant to be plucked and displayed for all to see, but to be nurtured and protected in the secret garden of our hearts. They are whispers carried on the wind, heard only by the ears of the divine and those entrusted with their keeping. Yet, in a world rife with gossip and betrayal, the temptation to share the intimate details of another's prayers can be strong. We may feel the urge to divulge their struggles and petitions to others, seeking solace in the illusion of camaraderie and understanding. But in doing so, we violate the sacred trust placed in us by the one who confided in us with their prayers. We betray their confidence, betraying them and the God to whom their prayers were addressed. We become like the unfaithful servant who squanders the master's trust for fleeting pleasure and empty praise. Instead, let us honor the sanctity of confidential prayers, guarding them with the same care and reverence with which we guard our own. Let us resist the temptation to gossip and share choosing instead to hold fast to the trust placed in us by the one who confided in us with their prayers. For in honoring the trust of others, we honor the God who calls us to love one another as he has loved us. Divine Father, as I come before you, I am humbled by the realization that you have chosen me for your work. You have entrusted me with the sacred task of serving you and spreading your love and light in this world. I pray for your guidance and strength as I embark on this journey of faith and service. Grant me, O Lord, a heart filled with humility and gratitude. Help me to recognize the magnitude of the responsibility you have placed upon me and to approach it with reverence and dedication. May I always remember that it is not by my own merit that I am chosen, but by your grace and mercy alone. Give me the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it, even when the path is difficult or uncertain. Help me to surrender my own desires and ambitions to your divine plan, trusting that you know what is best for me and for those I serve. Fill me, O God, with your Holy Spirit, that I may be empowered to carry out your work with love, compassion, and integrity. Grant me the strength to persevere in the face of adversity and the patience to endure in times of trial. Bless my hands, O Lord, that they may be instruments of your peace and healing in this broken world. May everything I do be done unto your glory, that your name may be praised and your kingdom may come on earth as it is in heaven. Guard my heart, O God, from pride, selfishness, and all manner of sin. Help me to remain steadfast in my commitment to you, seeking always to serve others with humility and grace. And finally, Lord, I pray for the grace to surrender myself completely to you, to die to my own will, and to live only for you. May my life be a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to you, now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I pray. Amen.